Democrats and Republicans have been mobilizing in New York's 18th congressional district, both sides making a play for the swing seat. The district includes Orange County and most of Dutchess and Ulster counties. When I'm talking to voters, I'm talking to constituents, they just want Congress to, to work. Democratic Congressman Pat Ryan has represented the district since 2022, first winning in a special election and then winning again a few months later in the general election. Ryan is a Hudson Valley native and West Point graduate who served two combat tours in Iraq. He also served as Ulster County Executive, standing up to former Governor Andrew Cuomo at times to push for additional resources during the COVID-19 pandemic. He also was the eighth member of Congress to publicly call on President Joe Biden to step out of the race. I think folks are wanting and deserve an independent voice who's rooted in the district um, and who, who again is operating not as a partisan, but as a patriot. Ryan's Republican opponent is Allison Esposito. I am not a career politician. I am a cop. And the same reason I went into policing is the same reason I walked into this arena. Esposito was born and raised in Highland Mills. She attended the FBI National Academy at Quantico and served in the NYPD for nearly 25 years, rising to the rank of deputy inspector and commanding officer. Esposito was a member of multiple special units targeting street crime, but says she left it behind for a purpose to join former Congressman Lee Zeldin in his bid for governor. I saw my cops turn turned into public enemy number one. So I walked away uh, in a rescue mission, if you will. Government's number one job is to protect its people and then get out of their lives. When it comes to immigration, Ryan says he has pushed back against the Biden administration's border policies and co-sponsored legislation with his Republican colleagues called the Dignity Act, which would have done more to secure the border while also working to fix the immigration system. Ryan says he also has requested that the Biden administration call a state of emergency over the migrant crisis so more federal funding could be directed to states like New York bearing the brunt of the migrant influx. Rather than working to actually fix the problem, it feels like we're fighting about fixing the problem. Congress has to do our damn jobs, stop acting as partisans, and really understand this is a patriotic duty to secure our border. Esposito says there has to be immigration reform, but securing the border comes first. She says she would have voted for H.R. 2, which passed last year in the House, which would have provided more funding for border patrol and a border wall. Esposito also says that Congress needs to do away with sanctuary cities and states. Why should the federal government back up a state that is flying in the face of public safety, of law and order, and putting their people first? We need to secure the southern border, find out who's here, and get rid of the criminals. They are praying on our American people. On abortion, Ryan says this is a core issue for him. He says he will continue to fight for access to reproductive health and fertility treatments. I risk my life for this country, for the freedom of the American people, and to see reproductive freedom ripped away from half the country just two years ago by the Supreme Court, I believe that goes against who we are as a country. Esposito says she believes it's a state's rights issue, but does not support and would not vote for a national abortion ban. She also believes in access to fertility treatments. As a member of the gay community, IVF and access to adoption is incredibly important to me. I stand for empowering women and babies at every stage, pre-birth and then into childhood. Now, when it comes to alleviating cost of living pressures, Ryan says he just recently introduced a comprehensive housing plan that would bring down mortgage and interest rates and co-sponsored bipartisan legislation that would lower the price of groceries. Both Ryan and Esposito are against congestion pricing and want to eliminate the salt cap. Additionally, Esposito says when it comes to affordability, she would work towards making America energy independent. Steve Natasha. Yeah.